Hi. In this tutorial we will take a step-by-step -step guide to add advertisements to your Kivi app to monetize the application. But first we would like to ask you to leave your like, to encourage us to produce more videos like this. And, if it is possible, subscribe to the channel. The first step to add add to your app is to configure your code with the commands from the KivMob module. KivMob is a simple, Python library that allows developers to easily monetize their Kivi mobile applications using Google AdMob. It is available for both Python 2 and 3. Currently, KivMob only supports the Android platform. iOS support is under development. Use the command, pip3 install KivMob, to install the module. After that you must add code in your application to allow the insertion of advertisements. To exemplify this we will use an application that shows the cryptocurrency quote. This application has already been described here on this channel in another video. In this video we will not explain the details of the application, as this has already been explained in another video. We will leave the video link in the description of this video for you to access. We'll just focus on the details of adding the ads. KivMob allows three types of ads. Banner ads that are rectangular image or text ads that take up a portion of the app screen. KivMob allows banner ads to be positioned on the top or bottom of the page. Interstitial ads are full screen ads that cover the entire app until dismissed by the user and rewarded video ads that the user may view in exchange for in-app rewards. Callback functionality can be handled with a class implementing rewarded listener interface. For simplicity, in this tutorial, we will only deal with banners and interstitial. The first modification is to import the KivMob and Test IDs modules. The quickest way to enable testing is to use Google-provided demo ad units. The testids module provides demo ad units IDs just for testing your application. Ad units are containers you place in your apps to show ads to users. Ad units send ad requests to AdMob, then display the ads they receive to fill the request. When you create an ad unit, you assign it an ad format and ad type. The demo ad units are not associated with your AdMob account, so there's no risk of your account generating invalid traffic when using these ad units. Make sure you replace these IDs with your own ad unit ID before publishing your app. On the Google AdMob site it is possible to see demo ad units IDs. The application screen is specified through a builder object and has not changed in relation to the application defined above, described in the aforementioned video. We will not go into detail here in this video. After that you need to create a KivMob object passing the IDs. In this case we will use the demo IDs. This object can be created in different places. In our example we chose to create it in the class that represents the application screen, the panel class, in order to have greater control over the appearance of advertisements. We pass the IDs of each advertisement type in the classes init method since these IDs must only be passed once in the application lifetime. In the case of the add of type banner, we pass the argument false to indicate that the banner is displayed at the bottom of the screen. If we pass true the banner will be displayed at the top of the screen. In this application we define that the advertisement in banner format will appear when the user presses the button to request a quote of the cryptocurrency selected in the spinner. On the other hand, when the user enters the name of the currency and presses the button to quote the price, the advertisement will be hidden in the banner format and the advertisement will be displayed in the interstitial format. We also need to make some changes to the buildozer.spec file so that the app can receive ads. The changes related to this are displayed here. After deploying to a device, you will notice fake ads to indicate that you have successfully included ads. Shown here is the banner ad. 
On this screen, a fake interstitial advertisement is shown. Once you've accomplished this step, the next step is to open an AdMob account. You must have AdMob account in order to advertise. You can create an AdMob account by following these steps. Go to admob.google.com and click on Sign Up. Select your Google account which you will sign up. After filling in your data, the following screen is going to be displayed. Select the Apps option from the menu on the left of the screen to add an application. This screen is going to be displayed. Click on the Add Your First App button. This screen is going to be displayed. You must then select the platform you are targeting your application to. In our case we selected the Android platform. You must indicate if the app is available in an app store, as well. We will indicate that the app is not in a store, but in the future it will be mandatory for the app to be available in an app store. After that, click on the continue button. This screen is going to be displayed. Enter the app name and click Add App. This screen is going to be displayed stating that the app has been added. An identifier for your application has been generated and can be found on the App Settings tab. Click on Create Add Unit. This screen is going to be displayed. You must select the type of ad you want to create a unit for. In our case, they will be for the banner and interstitial type. This screen is going to be displayed. You must define a name to identify your unit. Repeat this action for each type of unit. Then insert the generated identifiers into your code. This figure shows how your application code should look after inserting your IDs. The complete code for this application can be found on GitHub at the indicated URL. After that we are ready to build and deploy. Run the command. Buildozer minus V Android debug deploy run. If you want to debug the application, run the command shown after the application starts running. We have arrived to the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching and I hope it was helpful. Leave your like if you enjoyed. Please, subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this.